And here's the terrifying part. It creates a vicious circle called the glucocorticoid cascade. Chronic stress elevates cortisol. Cortisol damages the hippocampus, that's your memory center, and the damaged hippocampus can't properly regulate the HPA axis. So cortisol stays elevated, which damages the hippocampus even more. So it's a self-reinforcing cycle of damage. Studies in humans show that prolonged cortisol elevations are associated with hippocampal atrophy and decline in learning and memory. Now, remember, APOE4 already impairs amyloid clearance. So when cortisol increases production by 60%, you're basically getting hit twice. Production goes up, clearance stays impaired, and amyloid accumulates faster. This is why stress management is not optional for us. It's not about feeling calm, it's about reducing the biochemical drivers of the disease we are trying to prevent. The Framingham Heart Study found that elevated midlife cortisol was associated with increased amyloid deposition decades later, especially in women. So what you do today matters for your brain 20 years from now.